my grandfather went to college at Chiliman Institute and he came from Bais, which is basically a rural farming town. Uh, most of his friends were uh, kids of the laborers. And when he got there, the first thing you notice is those kids were not there, mainly the kids of the Hacienderos. And the question was, wh where are these? Where are they? How come they're not here? And the truth of the matter back then is there was really no opportunity for that social class of students. And so he made, he made a vow that he wanted to create a school that would give those kids with uh, less opportunity socially and economically a chance. So this is why Foundation University is here. Here, you can make your university dreams come true. Welcome to the home of the Greyhounds, Foundation University, a university known for its academic, athletic, and cultural excellence. Foundation University offers you specialized programs in nursing, engineering, art, architecture, agriculture, and many other disciplines. Our programs are all accredited and recognized throughout the country for the highest standards of quality. Foundation University is located in Dumaguete City, the capital city of Negros Oriental. Dumaguete is a vibrant and busy city by the sea. But once you enter the campus of Foundation University, you come into a different world. An oasis of peace and calm. A place to relax and think and concentrate on learning. A place where you will feel at home. Although not as large as some universities, our campus environment is friendly. People here know each other. It's easy for all of us to have a sense of community. Every student can receive individual care and attention. No one is made to feel like outnumbered in the system. The university's program of uncompromising, personalized attention is our commitment to treat everyone in campus as a unique person. In recognition of the outstanding work in environmental sustainability, Foundation University was hailed as national champion of the 2015 Search for the Most Eco-Friendly and Sustainable Campus by the Department of Environment and Natural Resource Environmental Management Board. As a means to continue with the advocacy, the university took a great leap of converting the whole campus into a completely solar-powered campus during the first quarter of 2017. Foundation University provides a private education that you can afford. It is one of the most affordable private universities in the country today. We provide easy payment plans for everyone. We offer many scholarships every year to deserving students. Scholarships include work-study grants, athletic, cultural and academic scholarships. We offer these because we want to invest in your success. During my college days in Foundation University, uh, I applied, I was a working student all throughout. I started working in, in the carpentry shop at the back of that science building before, while doing my, my, my academic studies. And then along the way, I transferred to the security of Foundation University and then ended up on the third, uh, third uh, I think that was on the third year up to the fourth year, the janitor of the ele former, that elementary building in this, college, in this uh, university. Though it was a hardship, I, I should say, uh, challenge, challenges along the way on how I will maintain my academic performances, including the grades, uh, basically, and the day-to-day -day sustenance of the life of, the, of uh, staying in this university. But, I find it inspiring and I, I was very thankful for the university that I was able to, to graduate on, on within that year from 85 to 89. Uh, during those days, uh, th these are my building blocks. Foundation University was very instrumental in, in what I am now and uh, where I am now and my family as well. The stories of my college days in, the, in Stain University and how I I grew in that university. I'm currently working 
as a senior planning officer at the Department of Finance Insurance Commission. Um, being a planning officer, I am tasked to join the Philippine delegation for the Association of Southeast Asian Nation Trade in Services, wherein I help the, the Philippine negotiating team or trade team to craft um, offers and requests for ASEAN countries as well as other non-ASEAN countries who would like to be trading in the Philippines. In 2015, I was able to put up my own business. It's a consulting company wherein I managed to help government organizations and non-government organizations conduct their community-based programs. I was so lucky to have Foundation University before for that my college, uh, college years because uh, well, I, I was an honor student, that's why I was able to have my academic scholarship. I was also working as an assistant in the Office of the Student Life back then. So financially, um, since this is a private institution, those scholarships that were provided to me by the, the university helped me overcome the financial burden in, in coming up with the degree. But then when I went, went on, uh, when I went to Manila, wala nang problem. Why? Because uh, it prepared me to actually have the best job I could possibly imagine. And in those jobs na meron ako, I was able to financially provide for my needs. Pagkakaroon o gikan pa sa una, ang ang panginamawag, panginabuhit siya ni Sparling. At itong panahon na kay tulubi akong college siya ito, ang panganay o si Judan at saka si JR. So farming lagi hapon ni pagpa-eskwela mo yung lisod kay tuluman sila kapuok amo ang balayran sa school event. Si Judan kay scholar, si Jane mas scholar man po. Pero ang pang-adlaw-adlaw man yung lisod. Ngayon naman siya nga, sige na mga mag-agwanda sa tapagkakaroon kay kay Totally man po, ang, ang, ta, ang sitwasyon ko sa tao dili permanente nga ka ng lisod. Kung maning kamot lang daw, naapa ko na yung pag-asa. So, munang naning kamot siya sa iyong pag-eskwela, naning kamot siya nga makahuman. Kay para ma, dili na ko nung pareha sa unang lisod ka ay. So, paning kamutan yun sa mga ginikanan ng mga ka-eskwela. Kaya na umang po itabang sa usa ka-eskwelahan, sumala sa foundation, di ba? Na scholarship o kung magtinarong lang ang, ang mga anak o di na sila ma-avail ng scholarship. So, da kung tabang sa ginikanan ang scholarship sa foundation. kay kung wala ang scholarship, mag maglisod mag ming mga ginikanan. Dili man may katong dagkog income. Na, na. So, Ang, ang kuan scholarship dako kay tabang sa mga sama na mong ginikanan our graduates become nurses lawyers engineers and managers and while all of that is commendable what is lacking is an in-depth four-year program that has a clearly defined objective of creating entrepreneurs the current four-year business degree is being reconstructed to include several modules that will result in our students graduating to become entrepreneurs. In fact, part of their graduation requirement will be to have created a sustainable and successful small business while still in college. The revised business degree entrepreneur program will begin in 2018. An important aspect to the development of our entrepreneurs is to tap into that sense of family, of community, that lives in the heart of every Filipino. With that objective in mind, core rotary values are enshrined in this degree program. Each student will be constantly reminded to be certain all their business actions are fair to all parties, will build good long-term relationships, and will specifically benefit their community and Philippine society in general. 
And the reason we do that is because we want them, we want our graduates to take this with them so they can apply this kind of experience in real life. A couple of good examples of graduates that we've had in the past uh, are like Jodan Darong and uh, George Ibarra. Uh, both of them started with, with very, very, uh, it, it's even below menial means, both of them, and, and both of them have like, succeeded. And, you know, that's a, that's a good example of what we're doing here. We're giving opportunities. Uh, but those two, we're, we're using our own resources to produce those kind of graduates. And we actually need more resources so we can produce even more of that caliber. It was in another lifetime, one of toil and blood. When blackness was a virtue, the road was full of mud. I came in from the wilderness, a creature void of form. Come in, she said, I'll give you shelter from the storm.